hello beauties today i'm going to share with you on how to make this very delicious fish fried rice this is not your regular and you are going to enjoy this so make sure to watch this video to the end to start this recipe we have to put in our clean fish into the pot so i'm seasoning with cajun sazon or purpose meat adding some salt your parsley flakes adding some white ground pepper so you are going to just use your favorite seasoning for this but just try this out because it's so good i added in some cameroon pepper and adding water lest i forget just make sure to add in some seasoning powder and don't forget your curry powder cover up the pot and allow this to cook few minutes later it's ready boiling now just take out the fish from the fish stock The first time I posted this recipe, it just made me to realize that almost 90% of people don't like fish stock. Like what? What could be the problem? Why don't you like fish stock? If you are among them, just about watching this recipe because into the fish stock, you are going to pour in our washed rice, water and curry powder. Add in salt and allow this to cook. So while that is cooking, just go ahead now to debone the fish you can use your desired fish for this recipe but i use macro in this case so make sure to debone it properly back to the fish stock issue the comments i got just made me realize that because you love something doesn't make everyone else to love that particular thing hope you understand what i mean <laughs> it was so shocking that people don't like fish stock to me and that is okay so just make sure to remove any bone as much as you can set this aside into a pan now we are going to be heating up some vegetable oil add in your fresh rosemary for that flavor and pour in this well deboned fish into the oil. You are going to allow this to fry for some minutes because you just want to get the best out of it. Make sure to stir continuously so that it can be evenly. A few minutes later, this should be ready. The aroma is everywhere. Just go ahead now to add in your cut carrot. At least you know that carrot takes longer time to cook in all the other vegetables. So I added in some extra fish seasoning. Yes. You use fish seasoning for that extra fishy taste so make sure to just stir everything all together it's a stir fry so you have to stir as you fry so add in some red onions and just continue frying You can as well mash your fish as you stir. So next now we are going to be adding in some of your peppers and I use green and red bell pepper. Adding some scotch bonnet pepper too to this and stir everything all together. You can reduce your heat now and give this a little more time for it to fry. Like I told you at the beginning of this video, this is not your regular. So just get ready for that deliciousness if you try this recipe out. Just get ready for that deliciousness. So after a while now, this should be ready. At least when you have a taste of it, your peppers should be slightly cooked. The onions, everything should be cooked. And that is how you know that this is ready. We proceed now to transfer this into the already cooked fish flavored rice. Just pour this over the rice. Mm -hmm. 
just proceed now to mix everything all together this method also works well when you are cooking in large quantity so i'm just going to mix everything all together just take a look at how delicious this is looking already just give this few minutes on fire for the rice and the stir fry for everything to marry together because you want all the flavor to be well infused in it and just finish this all by adding in your sesame oil for that flavor adding some spring onions and that is it guys you have your delicious fish fried rice not the regular one This rice is so delicious, it's so fishy and I want you to really try it out because you are going to love it and everyone who has a taste of this would definitely ask you for more. I want disclaimer guys, this is not that type of rice you just prepare to keep. Please make sure to let me know below if you have enjoyed this recipe and don't forget to subscribe if you have not done that. I'll see you next time. Bye.